What's going on folks, Antoine here with Core Cutter Lifestyle and Tech and today we're going to be taking a look at the Antop Mini Big Boy Indoor Outdoor Amplified HD TV Antenna. So we're going to get right to it folks. One of the things I love most about this antenna is it is strong enough that it gets you um, the signals that you would generally get from an outdoor antenna but it's small and sleek enough that you can put it inside your living room, put it inside your room, wherever you want to put it, indoors, your attic right so this antenna aside from the sleek design has some new technology in it one being the amplifier it comes with all right we're gonna set this to the side so this is what they call a smart pass technology um, amplifier right it's very different from a regular amplifier you would get with uh, one of those flat panel antennas that you get off amazon or from anywhere else so this antenna right here it delivers the correct balance between short and long range reception right so it's not like a regular amplifier where when you turn it on you can get uh, your signal can de degrade right and another thing is it has a, a 3g 4g and 5g filter so it filters out that one unwanted noise that you get from 3g 4g and 5g signals right so this is one of the things you get with the antenna. This can also be purchased separately. So with that, you also get an adapter. This is preliminaries, folks. What you get in the box, get the pole mount. If you want to mount it outside, you get a coaxial wrench for screwing on your coaxial, right? It fits perfectly and snug on there so you don't have to bust your knuckles up trying to reach behind the television. All right. 33 feet of well-insulated coaxial cord you get the base right we have the base right here I already have it on as I said I'll be testing out and you get the antenna itself <clears throat> and you can see right here if we look at the box and we look at the antenna the antenna is darn near big as the box but it's still small enough where it's not a nuisance you can place it right in your window and don't have to worry about anything so let's go ahead and just look at the antenna I already got the base snapped on. Um, one thing I love about this antenna is the coaxial cord isn't attached. Most um, antennas you get that are for indoors, the coaxial cord is attached. You can't really do anything with it. You have to wrap it up and stuff it behind your TV and stuff like that. But with this one, you can actually create, make your own coaxial cord or go to Walgreens or Best Buy and buy a shorter coaxial cord. That way you have the perfect length, right? All right, like I said, folks, I ran a couple tests um, with this antenna. With my current antenna, I get 70 channels, but I do not get PBS. That's the only channel I do not get. I have a hard time getting PBS. And the reason is, is my the way my apartment is facing, the building is blocking my PBS signal. So it's very hard for me to get PBS. The way I know I got a good antenna is when I'm able to get PBS. All right, folks, so we got the antenna hooked up. It is sitting on my makeshift desk slash TV mount. Uh, we got the antenna. We got the smart pass amplifier hooked up, but it is currently off. You see where it's amber, it's off. When it's green, it's on, amber off. We're going to leave that off. And then we're going to run our channel scanning. Yes, I'm still using the Sofa Baton U1 Universe Remote. It works perfect. Right, go to my digital converter box. Go to menu, go over to channel scan, go down. All right, so the first stand, scan is still going. We are over halfway done. We got 21 channels. Let's look at our channel list. We got the weather channel, comet, inspire. Let's see if I can go up. We get a lot of channels, but you can see I got the antennas extended. Um, just kind of half haphazardly put it up, you know, nothing special. We'll be back for the finished results. All right, so this is my current antenna. I use this the Hot Cat Indoor Ridiculous Claim Antenna. Um, they actually said they can get over, I believe it's 130 miles, and it seems like every year they go up. But this one is 130 miles indoor flat panel antenna. 
I actually bought this to test it out, test out the ridiculous claims. But my previous ridiculous claim antenna was that you must buy or you must have an um, antenna which uh, cracked out on me after about a year and a half. It just simply stopped working. Um, so right now I just got that sitting in my window like that. It just hangs out to the window and um, there's no adjusting it. You know, I just pull the screen up and down. Do I want to get it high? I tend to leave it high up on the window because again PBS is my go-to channel I don't get that and um yeah all right y'all the channel scan is almost complete and I have 52 channels my main concern is um, PBS that's how I know I'm getting a good reception um, like I said PBS is on the opposite side of me let me go ahead and go through the channels normally get that number fox is easy to get for me so i do not get pbs i did not get pbs again this is with the amplifier off antenna on my makeshift deck. all right folks we're about to run a new scan again we're going to leave the antenna in the same spot but this time we are going to turn the smart pass amplifier on all right, let's get our remote control. So we got some pixelation. I'm not worried about that. Let's go ahead and hit menu. All right. Go over to channels. Auto search. Let's go. All right, so everybody knows pretty much that um, antenna reception really depends on what area you're in. Um, I spoke on this before. I'm in a pretty much urban area. Uh, there may be only a few channels that I do not get, maybe one or two. Like I said, PBS is my main one. But if you live in a rural area, which this antenna does, yeah, it works for. I mean, 70 to 80 mile range, uh, you pretty much got your whole um, market covered, right? But um, there could be different obstacles in your way such as trees or mountains or hills anything like that um, so you want to make sure that you visit a website that shows your terrain or shows how far um, your TV antennas are from your era such as DTV.gov um, and topusa.com they have a map that um, you can actually enter your zip code and it's going to show you the best antenna for your area and topusa.com also um this antenna was shipped out to me by antop um they asked me which they said they like my content they wanted me to select the antenna um to show my viewers i chose this one specifically because it was indoor and outdoor um, because a lot of people may live in um, areas where they have restrictions right so that's my biggest thing, restrictions, whether you live in an apartment and the restriction is your apartment is facing the wrong way. Um, you may live in a, a neighborhood where your restriction is you can't have uh, antenna or satellite dish on your roof. So, uh, so far, so good, folks. You know, we'll be back. All right, folks, second round, smart pass on antenna on my makeshift computer desk. It looks like we are stuck at 46 channels. 46 channels. Um, just waiting on it to finish up. I've ran this test before, and I was able to get PBS with the antenna on my makeshift desk. Um, like I said, it's just location. But let's see what we got here. I'm trying not to get a, a strike from... YouTube, let's let's go ahead. We're just gonna browse up and see if we get PBS, which is channel 10. Nope. And we're gonna move on to the next test, which is antenna in the window, smart pass on. Let's get it. All right, antenna is in the window. Smart pass is on. And let's get it, folks. I ran this test before. 
I got 77 channels again with my current antenna I get 70 channels but I do not get PBS world TV or create TV those are the channels that I want I want every channel let's see if we can get it let's go all right folks third and final channel scan is running take a look at the left side of the channel search menu um, right now I'm using my screen recorder so you see 12 13 and 14 we got PBS kids world and create TV um, so the channels I always been looking for are finally in um, we're gonna let this scan complete and see how many channels we get all right y'all so the scan is almost complete looking at the top of the screen we have 77 channels again um, again folks your channels may vary um, I have 77 channels you know pretty much because based on the area I'm in but a lot of these channels are duplicate but I do I am getting all of the available over there channels to me with this signal I'm getting all of my over there channels um, again folks before you purchase a channel uh, or an antenna make sure you are able to get the signal like I said go to antipusa.com you can go to nocable.com uh, dtv.gov there are uh, antennaweb.org there are tons of websites out there that uh, show you the best antenna for your area and ladies and gentlemen I think we are stuck at 77 I will not let any images play because YouTube will strike you but that is it folks um, visit antopusa.com antop is currently offering a promotion on Amazon for a 10% discount and uh, for Prime members, they get a special discount. Link will be in the description. That is it, folks. Catch you guys next time. Peace out.